Hello everyone and welcome to today's TIA portal tutorial. In the previous video we have discussed bit logic operation. Today we are going to talk about timer operations in the TIA portal and how to use them. In this part we will discuss three first timers TP, TON and TOF. And the second part we will learn about TONR and customizing parameters of timers. Timers are required when we need a time delay in our program. Here as you can see, we have various timers in the TIA portal. If you follow my codices tutorials, timers in the TIA portal are like codices. The first one we are going to learn is the pause timer, also known as TP. Assume we have a start button and the motor. We want to have the motor working for 10 seconds for example and after 10 seconds it should be stopped. To do that we can use this timer. So let's drag and drop it in our program. Here portal needs to define an instant data block to save the data of timers such as the status of input and output. Here you can change the name of the timer. If you select here automatic, TIA uh, will determine the function number automatically. You can do it also manually, but I prefer automatic. Hit OK. So this is the block diagram of the pulse timer. You see the address of the data block and here its name. We need to insert a contact as input to initiate the timer. When the input is activated, the pulse timer will generate a pulse with a preset width time. The width of this uh, pulse is equal to the time here known as preset time or just PT. Preset time is 32 bits, which means we can um, give a maximum of this time to TP. We want to turn off the motor after 10 seconds, so write here 10S. Or if you need 1 minute, you write uh, 1M. If you need 1 minute 30 seconds, uh, you write here 1M underscore 30S. Then we have elapsed time. This will show you the current time. It shows how much time uh, has passed since the TP was activated. It has a data type time. We can define a variable in memory. If you open the system blocks and uh, program resource, we can find the data block we have created to save the data of the timer. Let's look at the diagram of this timer. Here if I press the start, the output will be immediately turned on and elapsed time starts to uh, timing. As soon as the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the output will be off even if, I, uh, even if the input is on. Whenever I turn off the start again, then the elapsed time will be zero. Here, even if I turn off the input before the preset time, the elapsed time will still count. It means once the output is on, if we turn the input on and off again, this will not affect the output. Here, input is turned on and off two times, but uh, nothing happens. Now let's simulate our program.
we see the input is false, so the output is also false, and elapsed time is zero. If I press the start button, the motor will be immediately turned on, and after 10 seconds, it will be off. Here you see the elapsed time. When it reaches the preset time of 10 seconds, motor will be turned off. If you turn off the start, the elapsed time will be again zero. Let's try again. If you even turn off the start before 10 seconds, nothing uh, happens. Or if you press the start again in the middle of the time, the pulse timer doesn't care to this state change. The next timer in TIA portal is timer on delay or TON. The TON timer sets the output to on after a preset time delay. Once the input goes on, after a delay the output will be on. Drag and drop it to insert the timer in the programming environment. Like TP, we need to determine a data block to save the data of the timer. We have also for this timer an input for starting the timer with the type boolean, which is sensitive to rising edge. The preset time I define it 10 seconds, output and elapsed time. Here you can see the diagram of this timer. When the input is activated, after the preset time, the output will be true. If before the preset value, the input is um, turned off, the output will uh, remain zero. Let's simulate the timer. Now if I run the program, input is false and output is also false. As soon as I press the start, the elapsed time uh, starts to count and 10 seconds after that, the output of the timer will be activated. Whenever I change the state of the input to false or zero, the output of the timer will be turned off. So the output turns on after a delay when we change the input from false to true. But what would happen if we turn off the input before 10 seconds? Well, as soon as we turn off the input before preset time on uh, an undelay timer, the elapsed time will uh, be reset immediately and output will be never activated. If you want the output to remain on, even uh, if you turn off the input, you can add a parallel circuit here, same as the output. So when the output is turned off, it will be latched here and the output remains on.
You see I turn off the input now, but output remains on. Okay, let's talk about the next timer, of delay timer or just T or F. This timer sets the output to on and then turns it off after a preset time delay. Once we turn on the input, the output will be immediately on. Then if we turn off the input, the output will be off after a time delay. I insert it into the programming environment. Like other timers, we need to determine a data block for the timer. We have again an input. The preset time let's determine 10 seconds. It's the delay time and the variable in memory for elapsed time. Let's save it and simulate this timer to see how it works. As you can see, as far as the input is not pressed, the output is also off. If I press the input, the output of the timer will be immediately true. Whenever input is false, again, the output will remain turned on. But elapsed time starts to count and after 10 seconds, output will be turned off. Let's try again. Turn on and then turn off the input. But this time before elapsed time, so before 10 seconds, I'm gonna turn on the input again. As you can see, the elapsed time has been reset to uh, zero again. And here you see the diagram. As soon as you turn on the input, the output will be turned on. If I turn off the input, the elapsed time uh, starts to count. When the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the output will be turned off. If you turn on and uh, off again the input before the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the elapsed time will be reset again. Okay, I think that's enough for the first part. The next time we will uh, continue learning timers in Tia Porta. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.